Boris is dedicated to saving the environment and expresses this in its Change for the Better initiative. Its latest piece of this initiative is called the Upcycle, which means to reuse something and create a higher quality version than the original. The dial of each upcycle piece is created from recycled PET plastic, which means no two watches are alike. And this is meant to show plastic can be recycled into art and encourage everyone to take part in cleanup days. But will you think that the plastic has been molded into a beautiful piece of eco-friendly and wearable art? Or would you rather have seen this dial stay at the bottom of the ocean? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you awesome watch content at least once a week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Seiko King Seiko SPB281, which could be the start of another brand stemming from Seiko just like Grand Seiko. Check this video out if you would like to see a very sharp looking piece that is very appropriate for smaller wrist sizes. Wrist check time. Today I'm wearing my Oris Aquas Clipperton Island Limited Edition, which is also part of the Change for the Better initiative. I bought mine with a rubber strap and I installed a titanium bracelet on it from another model later. You can actually do that on yours as well. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The Aquas Upcycle has a 40.1 millimeter case width, not measuring the crown protector, a 12.9 millimeter thickness, a 47.8 millimeter lug to lug, a proprietary lug pattern, but the exterior is 24.3 millimeters wide, a 30.4 millimeter crystal diameter and weighs in at 153.69 grams. The case is matte finished on the sides and has high polish on the lugs. It has a screw down crown and Oris's proprietary triple pattern screws to hold the bracelet and crown protector on. The sapphire crystal is slightly domed and protrudes above the bezel. The bezel insert may look like steel, but it's actually ceramic in gray. It turns unidirectionally and let's go ahead and give it a click test. So the clicks sound great and they're very crisp, which is similar to the other Aquas models that I've reviewed in the past. However, the action is very firm and the size is smaller, so I actually felt like turning this one was a little bit more difficult than the larger models that I'm used to. The dial is made out of PET plastic, which can be in many different colors. This model has a very attractive mixture of blues, purples, and whites with a bit of yellow. Oris can be found in white at the top section of this piece. The markers are high polished and look very aerodynamic, with an open stripe of loom down the center of each. The hour and minute hands are lance style with a division in the loom on the hour hand and are in high polish. The second hand is a simple straight line with an orb of loom near the end. Aquas, pressure resistant, 30 bar slash 300M can be found at the lower middle portion. The date aperture is at the sixth position and has a white background with black numerals. Loom can be found on all dial markers, the hour, minute, and second hands, and at the 12 pip on the bezel. The case back is open and shows off Oris's trademark red rotor, which states Oris High Mech. The movement is the Oris Caliber 733, which is a Salita based mechanism that has a 38 hour power reserve, beats at 28,800 beats per hour, has 26 joules, and while no accuracy test rating is published, from my experience, these pieces will have an accuracy under 10 seconds a day, plus or minus. The bracelet is a proprietary three link style Aquas bracelet with high polish on the outer links and matte on the center, which tapers from 24 millimeter to 16 millimeter and back to 18 millimeters at the buckle. It has a folding clasp with a micro adjust. The Oris Aquas upcycle is 300 meter water resistant, has a two year warranty that can be extended to three now by registering it and can be yours for $2,300. Now for my personal opinion. I really like this piece and appreciate how each dial can actually be significantly different. This dial in particular turned out great and the colors really go well together. 
I appreciate what Oris is doing with turning recycled plastic from the ocean into unique and interesting dials. And I would have probably thought that this dial was just painted this way if I didn't know any better. The Aquas itself is always a solid choice, and at 41.5 millimeters, this actually looks great on my 6.5 inch wrist, although I do like the 43.5 millimeter version as well. I'll go ahead and recommend this piece to anyone who is looking for an attractive and fascinating dial on a dive watch that can be worn practically as a daily wear. And this will absolutely be a great choice if you want a cool story to share with your friends about your unique PET plastic dial. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share it with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.